Hi guys. Uh, if you were wondering what came out the phone, it's because now I've got something happening for going on the phone for filming on phones. It's like I said, I had to slowly get to escaping back in this such snuggle sack. Please go in there. Um, um, so today we're going to show you uh, what gay pigs can eat and what they can eat, what they can be fed, what they can eat and all that stuff, that bad stuff about it. So the piggy just wants to say a big hello to you all. It's not very surprised. But yeah, this is what he's up to right now. Go back the wrap. Okay, so gay pigs, so wait, first off we're going to start with what gay pigs can completely have all of the all of their life. So that is like hay and um, you can also give them cucumber <coughs> and you can also give them, uh, I think, you can give them coriander, bell peppers, uh, lettuce, and and that's what you can give them. Like that's always some of the stuff. And then what's okay to me is is radishes and cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, and lettuce. That can be bloat. And um, and I have a male piggy. I have a boy. He never ever got broke. His past was in his history. And um, what's the case we zucchinis um and carrots. My gay pig loves carrots. And the things that gay pigs definitely do not need. And they aren't going to eat is like so bad. Like they can never ever have um what can they think they've ever had? Like chocolate bars and they can't have chocolate and they can't have me they they only have, you know, his sort of fucking squeak dreams for that. I'm not saying it. And she gives me more information. And, um, and gay pigs is also never, ever, ever, ever have, like, like, uh, what is it called? Oh, uh, it's, um, all of the other human stuff that we don't really feed the gay pigs. So that's what gay pigs need, don't need, kind of need. And this video is kind of going to be, so this one's called actually the, the month of our life because I can't really make, convey this all into one title. So yeah, this is my taming techniques with when it comes to gay pigs, my taming techniques. So you see how he's in here. My gay pigs are all kind of being tamed, but it's not bad. That's way down like this. Put your head close to them. That's how we put your hands out when I'm sniffing. So you, so you know who you are. Then he's gonna come forward a little bit and move your head. Then he's gonna turn around. So you can snip him, so you, then, you can, um, put your hand in there again, so you can snip it, again, then he can nibble a bit, yeah, and try to, get, try to pet him in there, to get him to come out, get of his cell. And then I um, get a tweet. Or this, like the gay pigs that we eat a pellet. I'm just get a 
uh, left it how it's. So then you can, uh, so we can get a pellet. You see? So I can get up pellets. Let's, this is what they look like. This is what Oscar looks like. Then I have to out. So we can move him out. So you can see how he can come out. So you may come back in. Then you can give him a pellet. Right here. Big tapping. You give him that little pellet. Then we, he will. And start munching away on his palate. So, yeah. Then this move your hand a bit upwards. Comes up your head. And then lots and wait. And then she's gonna we wait down. It's not to be feared, and that she doesn't have to, and that. Doesn't have to be afraid and yeah, of that other stuff. If he doesn't take it way out of your hand, then just try to wait. He won't take out my hand. You don't want to waste all my videos time like this. Um, that's a great way to take these with your with your game pigs. Also, um, I have this little cousin where he is him. and I'll and you can pull it out. Here, you can give him a ball. These balls again. Then he can. Then you can try to see if he can, if he will come out. Piggy is a transporter. Do you see um that he's just gonna he's me really do his business and you can um and then. He will try to press the balls with your twig. Then you can put it somewhere to try to roll a bit. So you see what I'm doing with the gay pig. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry if that is a little bit not style. But yeah, uh, and then she's gonna go. What do you take away the sack? Then you put back the sack and he will associate you that he has nowhere to hide. He can't hide when he comes to you. Take him out of the sack and then he went to the bed again. But I'm great at going under the bed and cats again. I have my techniques, you know. But he's all sucked. And now he's camera side, but him. Uh, we actually didn't know it was a boy, but I wanted to tell you like some of the differences between girls' boys' tough problems. So girls could get like uh, a few that that were all wear a pair of wasps and bumble foot. Both of them, you we can get that. Um, yeah, so, so you can um, get a uh, really short book and just read it to him and there he is coming near me with because I'm to climb on your lap by putting this on your lap so he really tries to get in on your lap and hide so I have my nice snuggle sack so you uh Try to really uh, try to cover your lap by putting it on your lap so they think that you get to hide from them and then they will associate you with that. And bye guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it's a bit of more than one day. I know that you might be confused and like, and I'll be like, I'm so confused. <laughs> And I'm sorry if I can see you even more, but I hope that it's too. Bye, guys.
Conteúdo da Fran.